Today we'll make a hanging basket with thrift supplies and scraps. Keep watching. I'm going to start off with this hanging basket that I got from Goodwill. You can do the same thing in a regular tabletop basket if you like. I'm going to take this first larger pick. I think I got this one at Goodwill. It's a snowy theme, so I think it'll be great for winter time. I'm going to trim it down because the stem's a little bit too long for what we're going to need it for. And I'll put it in the center of the basket. That already fills it up pretty well, but we're going to add some more to it. We want this to be very lush and high-end looking. So I've got some picks that I've had for years that I've used in my decor. I can't even tell you for sure where those pine picks came from, but I'm sure they were on a clearance sale. These little bits and pieces came from some greenery that I bought a few years ago too, I believe. Some of them I just clipped right off of previous arrangements. I'm going to take some of these floral picks that are empty now, that just have the stem there, and I'm going to use those as stems for these stemless pieces on the right side. Just going to use some of my pliers to just trim those down. And then for the ones that do not have a hole in the bottom and still have the remnant of a stem, I'm going to use some of this floral tape and wrap this around it to secure it. You can also use a little bit of hot glue and then wrap your floral tape around it to give it some more support. If you don't have floral tape, you can use floral wire. You just begin to twist this around. Floral tape is a waxy tape and it's the stickiness is kind of activated by pulling on it, putting a little bit of pressure on it. So you actually have to pull a little bit on this to get it to wrap around. You're just going to do that several times until you feel like it's secure and then move on to the next piece. These particular pieces I felt were worth the trouble of doing this because there's so much snow on the little picks and they look so realistic to me, in my opinion. Now, I live in the south, so I'm not around snow that often. But every now and then, I get to see snow and I see it on YouTube. And that's what it looks like to me. So now I've got several of those picks ready. I'm going to start to fill in, in the places that need a little something extra. I want this to have a nice full look, so I'm going to fill in where the gaps are. Remember when you're doing a floral arrangement to be sure that you look at all sides of it. Look at it on the top, both sides. You'll see me pick this up and look at it quite a bit to see what might need a little more substance, what little areas need a little more. This arrangement is going to be hung on the wall, but if you wanted to use this on a glass door, you certainly could. Just be sure that whatever you do to the one side that you also apply that to the other side because I'm only decorating one side, making one front pretty side that will show. I want to make a double pick. That's easy enough to do, a little hot glue, and because these are prickly and they they have a tendency to push away from one another. You can use these little clips that came from Dollar Tree or whatever clips you have, even a clothespin if you want, and you can just clip those together until the glue sets up. On these picks, I like the boxwood, but I didn't really care for the, it's, you know, I've had them for so long, it's that old fake pine look, and the greenery just doesn't look that good. However, the boxwood pieces on here look pretty good to me, I think. And they're going to give a little bit of a variety in the foliage instead of just having the evergreens in there that are 
um, kind of bristly or prickly, this gives it a little bit of variety. So you might consider that if that's a look that you like. If you like a woodland theme, then you might consider doing something like this. Be sure that if you have tags or little extra pieces of wire or tape or things on your stems, be sure to clip those off. Try to remove those because you're gonna, it's gonna be more difficult to achieve a high-end look if you have a bunch of extra stuff that's distracting you from the overall look and the cohesiveness in your project. So just go ahead and get rid of the stuff that's not necessary. It just takes a couple more minutes and it's worth it. Just going to continue to find the pieces that we need. So when you use your floral picks, be sure that you are keeping your the stems for other projects because they can be used for quite a few things actually. I'm filling in on the right side. I'm filling in on the left side. I'm going to try to make it look as balanced as possible. What do you think so far? I think it looks nice. This is just a different type of pick that looks like it looks like it's brown. And I'm going to show you how you can glue that on. Just put a little hot glue there and hold that down for a moment and then you can put a clip on there and set it aside and when the glue is cool and it is set up then you could go ahead and use that pick but you don't have to stop you know if if you I don't like to stop in the middle of my projects I like to continue to go if I'm working on one thing let the glue dry on something else let the paint dry on something else and move on to the next step that's how I like to do it So you see, you see how fake and ratty those pieces look? We don't want that in our, in our basket. The pieces that I'm cutting off, I throw those down in a box or a bag and all the little pieces that I know I don't use, I give to, um, for donation, like to Goodwill or something like that. I'll put leftover pieces of ribbons, um, things that I don't use, extra bits and pieces of stuff that I know that I won't be using in my decor because really honestly with crafting you can get way too much. So if I know I'm not going to use it, maybe it's not a color that I like and I'm not going to continue it on another project, throw it all in a box or a bag with a little zipper on the top and then donate it because I can't tell you how many times I myself have gone in to Goodwill and found bags of ribbon and little ornaments or buttons or little sewing pieces, foliage, greenery, you name it, all in one bag, which is perfect. And I pick it up and bring it home and use it. So I think that one person's trash is another person's treasure and maybe somebody else is looking for that exact piece of ribbon that I will donate. And that'll be great. If it brings them some joy, that's wonderful. I'm having a bit of an allergy situation right now, so I'm sniffling a little bit and I'm not always aware when I do it, so I do apologize for that. Now I've got extra pine picks that came from other things and I'm just going to put more in there. I like the, the wood look of the basket and the dark color from the pine cones. It looks really good together. Now you could leave it like this if you wanted to, but for me, I think I want to add a little bit something extra on here. And so I'm going to add a little bit of this ribbon and this came from the Dollar Tree. It's like a burlap with polka dots. It came out of the, it wasn't in the spring section, maybe the gardening section. Okay, so there's no need to go all the way around the basket. Like I said, 
I'm not going to be using the other side. You see that it's flat on that side pretty much. I'm just going to be gluing this down. I'm going to use my spatula to just press that down into that. I don't know if you would call that wicker or grapevine, whatever that is. Just pressing it in there so that it gets a good grip with that ribbon. And then I'm going to put those clips that came from the laundry section in Dollar Tree on there to hold that in place. Once it is cool and set up, we can remove the clips and then continue on the other side because now we want to put a bow on it. Just a little bow. And this bow is probably the easiest bow I have ever made. So. Yeah, you're going to cut a loop of ribbon. This is about seven inches long, fold it over on itself, overlapping about a half of an inch. Going to put a little hot glue on there and then press it down. So you got your loop there. Center that seam in the back and then you're just going to walk your fingers toward each other in the center in the front. And there you have it. A little piece of jute cord or twist tie or whatever that you have and just secure it in the center. I'm just folding it over to make sure that both sides are the same size. I'm going to tie it in a double knot, trim off the extra, and then we have our little bow. And the next step will be to make the tails. You could leave it like that, or you could put tails on like I'm going to do. Now these tails are very, very simple. And since I only had a tiny bit of ribbon left, I decided to go ahead and just do it this way. So you're just going to overlap it like that in the center under the bow. I'm dovetailing my, ear, my little tails, my ears, really. I'm not dovetailing my ears. <laughs> Ugh. Time for more coffee, guys. Okay, so you can put them at an angle or straight out on the sides. They're going to overlap. A little bit of the seam will be showing once you glue it down, but you don't have to worry about that because there's going to be an embellishment in the center. So see, this is really easy. You can use scraps for this. You've got a little bit of that extra ribbon that you love, but you don't have enough to make a nice, beautiful bow. You can just make a little one. You can maybe even use two different colors of ribbon or prints. Okay, so I'm going to take one of these bells. These again came from Dirt Cheap. I got them for like 10 cents and I got, oh gosh, probably five packs with four on each pack. They look like aged little bells. I'm going to use some hot glue there. And I am using the Gorilla Glue Sticks right now. I have some of the cheaper ones too, but I, we get a lot of wind where I live. So if I do decide to put this on an exterior wall, I don't want anything to fall apart. So there it is with its bell. Now be sure that you take all the little spider webs from the, the glue stick away. Just kind of clean it up, brush it off a little bit, and there you have it. That was so easy. I probably paid less than $1.70 for that basket. It was empty when I got it. And then the clips, the little pieces of stuff, that stuff I already had. The ribbon I already had on hand, but it was a dollar at Dollar Tree and about 10 cents for the bells, which would be even less per bell. So I got a really, really cheap decoration here for winter. You could definitely use this at Christmas and it would certainly last you all the way through the end of winter and the end of the year beginning into spring. What do you think? What would you do differently? You know, you could do this with florals if you wanted to. Add some florals in there or mainly florals if you wanted. I just really love that woodland warm cozy feel this year. I think it's important when we're spending so much time indoors and at home that we feel our home with things that are 
inviting and cozy and that bring us joy. And this definitely brings me joy and I hope it does for you too. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye.